I believe that this debate. Sorry to interrupt the honourable member. His time has expired. I um, call Jonathan Young. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to stand and speak uh, in this debate. It isn't often that debates in this House and around this country uh, engage the hearts and minds in a way that this debate has. I believe it is because it touches issues deep within the core of people's being. It's to do with our most important relationship. It's to do with family. It's to do with children. It's to do with all the important things we do everything else for. And here we are in this uh, powerful expression of the democratic process with different views on an issue with so many emotions. And I believe that in this debate, it's not as clear as many people think. I think that there are views and issues that many people, New Zealanders and our communities, are struggling with, are wondering about, and are looking to this House tonight. I believe our society is probably more divided than this House is on this issue. And everyone has a right to their view, and a right to express it, and a right to agree or disagree, and I hope in a civil society to be respected because of or despite their view. And it's appropriate that diverse opinions be expressed in this House tonight. In this House, disagreement is the air we breathe. But it's how we disagree that is important, and by and large, this debate has been calmer than many other debates in this House. Tonight, I expect that this bill will pass. Despite my vote, which some will know hasn't supported its transition through the House thus far. For a long time now, I have been very supportive of civil unions for all the reasons that people are now perhaps applying to the marriage debate. I can empathise how perhaps a couple may want to have the legal recognition some, or some institutional formality or support their relationship and give them a, that sense of um, perhaps even permanence that it may bring or support. And on the occasion of that, a celebration that a, a wedding can bring. Because I believe that everybody wants to celebrate their relationships. Your relationship is your business. And I've been happy to support that. And I think I was happy when the civil union bill came through. Because in a sense it was a new legal recognition. That was a mirror of marriage. But it also maintained perhaps the age-old institution of marriage. And I do think in societies that traditions are important and have a place. A tradition is a convention, a belief or behaviour that stands the test of time. A tradition is the institutional memory of a society. It is not to be cast off or cast away quickly or easily because it's the touch, touchstone of a value which perhaps younger minds may not fully understand yet enter into because it's there. Traditions are what we use to guide people, I believe, into the things of life that have been proven to work. Those might be the very sentiments while we are debating this bill. But what we are debating, I believe, is not necessarily about love, because love is not legislated. I love that uh, campaign. I thought it was pretty good grant. It's a great idea about legalising love, but I don't know whether you can do that. I know the angle you're taking, I know what you're talking about, but I think the human heart is too rampant and too romantic to be contained and boxed and denied. I believe that people will pursue that which brings them meaning and fulfilment in life. Essentially, the value of marriage which this society upholds is that you become my one and only, and we commit to the best of our ability to make this an exclusive and a permanent relationship. That's the reason why I supported civil unions, because I believe that you could, in that es essence, in that sense, and I know that perhaps many people say we need to move on, but in that sense, there's a sense of recognition, exclusivity and permanence that come to relationships. My view, Mr Speaker, is that history and tradition have invested significant meaning into the term of marriage, and I believe that we need to retain its present definition. Thank you, sir. Um,
<laughs> I call uh, I call Chris Barfield. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's my intention to split this call with uh, Mojo Mathis from the Green Party.